You're going to want to get the babies started on their veggies fairly early. So Dan has a few recipes, maybe not for your babies, but for other people in your house that you might want to consider if you're dealing with tomatoes. Yes. So we're going to start with a soup. You made us a, a lovely summery soup. Yes, we are. So the thing with tomatoes is that they're they're really, really simple to work with because the flavor is so nice, especially right now. You don't need to do a lot to them. Yeah. So the soup we have here is sort of a spin on tabbouleh salad. So oh. in there, you can't really see it uh, in, the, in the shot, but there is a, a mixture of bulgur wheat and quinoa mixed with some cucumber, fresh mint, mm. and parsley. And then on top is just a vegetable and really tomato heavy broth that you pour on top. Because yeah. it, it's not always nice in the summertime. So when it's a little bit cooler, I find you still want the the fresh notes in a soup, but you want something that warms you up as well. Lovely. Yeah, okay, so. so you get the best of both worlds mm -hmm, there. For sure. Then you made a tomato jam. Tomato jam. You know, these are great for charcuterie boards, great for spreading on grilled cheese sandwiches, things like that. Oh, here, yeah. yeah, it's so delicious. Here I have it, just have it on, pardon me, some toasted bread and some brie on the side. Yes. And all you do for tomato jam is you just cook down chopped tomatoes with some red onion and a little bit of garlic and maybe salt and a lot of sugar. So about probably a quarter of a cup. It just adds the sweetness and it really thickens up and it becomes this nice, more or less jam. You can you can preserve it if you want. So if you're good at canning at home, which I am yeah. not, you can definitely do that. But <laughs> right. uh, if you make this variation, it definitely lasts in your fridge for uh, probably two or three weeks. Okay, so yeah. it's actually a sweet jam, yes. but it's tomato based, yes. which makes a lot of sense. And then of course uh, a salad that most of us love just yes. for the freshness. Probably the most famous tomato dish that there is out there, aside from pasta sauce, would be yes. the caprese salad. So again, very very simple. In this salad, I'm using uh, beef steak tomatoes. Again, local, very fresh, very sweet, with some mozzarella, basil, a little bit of uh, good quality olive oil and yeah. then some balsamic vinegar so again super super simple these are not things that take a long time to make they're very easy and they and they're so rewarding when you eat them absolutely yes. because of the flavor exactly so we're gonna do something with big flavor right now mm -hmm. and this is a salad you made yeah so I just wanted to show everyone how easy it is to make a salad that looks really pretty that takes only minutes so you can see okay I don't want to toot my own horn but that's a pretty good-looking salad toot, toot. <laughs> like, probably pay uh, Dan, you did a very uh, good job there you. yes you know, you'd pay a million dollars in a restaurant exactly for that. so I thought we could show some people here how you can do it at home really easily. So okay. I've just been chopping some herbs. I'm just going to move them out of the way for a second here. Sure. And then we'll grab our little plates. Perfect. Are we going to plate these like a pro? Yeah. Well, let's see who does it Teach better. Teach me a thing or two. I feel like the audience might be biased towards you, but we'll see. <laughs> So, Maybe not. They know who I am. Yeah. It's okay. If it looks ugly, they'll, they'll let me know. Exactly. So we'll see here. So I got some chopped tomatoes there. Okay. And I think the trick for making this look more, uh, you know, chef driven when you're plating is yes. to not chop everything uniform. If you guys can see here, I've kind of done all different kinds of cuts, even with the cucumbers. Right. So nothing's uh, um, uniformly cut. It's all different sizes, which will really add to the presentation. Okay. So let's... But the first thing you did is you did the smear. Yes, the smear, the famous chef smear with uh, Greek yogurt is what we're using today. So can I just try my mm -hmm. own smear and let's see how this goes? We just do this and you yeah. do a little. There that. we go. You're a pro. Look at Congrats. that. It's all in the wrist, right? All right. Do the same. Maybe I'll do a C shape. Oh, oh that's well, not me. as good as you. See? I'm under pressure today. <laughs> okay. So there we go. So we have our Greek yogurt. Then we're just going to pick some tomatoes to put on top. So I'll let you go first, ladies first. Okay. So I don't know how you made everything look. Just pretend I'll be eating this dish, mm -hmm. which is why I'm touching everything. We'll eat it right after the break. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Try and get some different colors in there again. That's really what makes this dish pop. I'm also trying to build a little tower like oh. you chefs like to do. It's going to, you know, stand on its own. It's beautiful to me. I'm going to grab a couple here too. Just kind of place them around the plate. And again, very, very simple. And then but this one has to be on its own in the corner. There you go. Okay. that's what makes very it Very abstract. I like it. It's very <laughs> abstract. And. I'm finished. There we go. Well, maybe I need a yellow. Perfect. So now that we have our veg on top of the Greek yogurt, we're just going to add some toppings to it. So here I have za'atar. Yeah. So if you're not familiar with za'atar, it's a Middle Eastern spice blend. So it has sumac in it, some thyme, sesame seeds, and other spices. And this kind of adds this, this unique flavor that you won't find on a regular tomato salad. So you just kind of sprinkle it on top. You can taste it first if you want as well. I have tasted this before. Mmm. Delicious, right? I really like that. Very summery. So give it just a little there bit. There we go. Is that Beautiful. way too much? No, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah. And there's salt in here as well, so we don't need to salt as much afterwards, so there we go. Very nice. And I also like a little hit of fresh herbs in the summertime just to add a bit more freshness. You can hit so, mine yeah, up right, as well. Let's go, let's go do for some it. chives on there. Lovely. And then I'm going to grab some parsley. So I'm just going to need 36 uh, servings of this. Exactly, and then we'll be good to and go. And I should be full. <laughs> well, the nice thing with if you're going to serve smaller salads like this is they're great for a party, right? Yeah. Really easy. You can make them really quickly, and your guests are impressed because it looks so nice. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe not as nice as that one that you did. Okay, well, so what are all the... Did you make your own Those, those are just crostini, so I just, okay. I just toasted some bread, and you can just crush it up on top like oh, this. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Never leave out the bread, Dan. That's Texture's very important. Texture's always a good thing. Too. Yeah, very there important. There we go. 
Okay, so we put uh, all of our recipes mm -hmm. on the website. This is a great, fresh, fun recipe you can try while the weather is still nice and warm. So, yes. Dan, thank you very much for that. Thanks for having me.